hello today we will discuss the step down type cyclo converters what are step down cyclo converters step down cyclo converters are those in which the output frequency is less than input frequency like in case of step up cyclo converters we have discussed midpoint type cyclo converter and bridge type cyclo converter here also we have two types that is midpoint type cyclo converter and second one is bridge type cyclo converters you can also see that the circuit diagram for midpoint type cyclo converter in step up cyclo converter and in step down cyclo converter will remain same as the circuit diagram is same but the working of this cir circuit diagram will little bit vary so in this circuit diagram we have four thyristors that is thyristor t1 t2 t3 and t4 like in case of step up cycle converter in midpoint type we have a input transformer this transformer is a center tap transformer having a center point denoted by point k and two extreme points which are point a and point b in this step down midpoint type cyclo converter the thyristor t1 will work for first positive half cycle and the thyristor t4 will work for second second positive half cycle the thyristor t3 will work for first negative half cycle and the thyristor t2 will work for second negative half cycle before discussing the working of this cyclo converter the working of this circuit diagram we will first move towards the waveform of this step down cyclo converter this is the waveform of step down type cyclo converter in this waveform we can see that vs is the input waveform having number of cycle equals to 2 in a given time interval having alternate positive and negative pulses if we want to reduce the input frequency that is to step down the input frequency we just have to reduce the number of cycle that is in the output waveform we can see that the the full cycle from input is got converted into a positive peak and a second full cycle from input is got converted into negative peak so we have reduces we have reduces we have step down the frequency coming from the input now how it is to be done in the first input cycle the negative pulse of the first input cycle is just to be converted into a positive pulse and the positive pulse from second cycle is just to be converted into negative pulse so by doing this process we just reduces the number of cycle the another important thing is that during the first positive half cycle the thyristor t1 will work during the second positive half cycle thyristor t4 will work during the first negative half cycle thyristor t3 will work and during the second negative half cycle thyristor t2 will work the output from this pulses will be the 
एवरेज आउटपुट ऑफ द पॉजिटिव पल्स एंड द एवरेज आउटपुट ऑफ द नेगेटिव पल्स नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द वर्किंग ऑफ ए सर्किट डायग्राम एज वी हैव स्टडीड द इनपुट वेव फॉर्म हैविंग अल्टरनेट पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव पल्सेस सो ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट पॉजिटिव पल्स द टर्मिनल ए विल बी एट पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल टर्मिनल के विल हैव अल्टरनेट नेगेटिव एंड पोटेंशियल एट सेंटर टाइप पॉइंट एंड द टर्मिनल वी विल बी एट नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल एट पॉइंट ए थर्स्टर टी विल बी फॉरवर्ड वाइज एंड इट स्टार्ट कंडक्टिंग सो द करेंट स्टार्ट फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल थ्रू द थर्स्टर टी वन थ्रू द लोड टू द नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल लाइक दिस ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट नेगेटिव पल्स द पोटेंशियल एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट दैट इज एट पॉइंट ए एट पॉइंट के एंड पॉइंट वी विल बी रिवर्स दैट इज एट पॉइंट ए द पोटेंशियल विल बी नेगेटिव एट पॉइंट के द पोटेंशियल विल बी लाइक दिस एंड पोटेंशियल एट बी विल बी लाइक दिस ड्यू टू पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल एट पॉइंट बी ड्यू टू पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल एट पॉइंट बी ड्यूरिंग द नेगेटिव पल्स पल्स द थैरेस्टर टी थ्री विल बी फॉरवर्ड बाइज सो द करेंट फ्रॉम पॉइंट बी दैट इज फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल थ्रू द थैरेस्टर टी थ्री एंड थ्रू द लोड विल स्टार्ट फ्लोइंग लाइक दिस so the current from positive potential will ends at the negative potential so what we have seen during the first positive and negative potential the current through the load remains the same that is the current through the load remains the positive so we have just converted a full input half cycle into a positive cycle during the next positive half cycle during the next positive half cycle again the terminal a will be positive k will be like this and b will be at negative potential due to this the thyristor t4 will be forward biased and as it is connected in opposite direction so due to negative potential at point b it will be forward biased now the current will flow from positive potential to negative potential like this from positive potential through the load and through the thyristor will ends at the negative potential at point b now during the second negative half cycle the potential at different point will be reverse that is at point a the potential will be negative point k the potential will be like this and at point b potential will be at positive potential due to this the thyristor t2 thyristor t2 will be forward bias as it is connected in reverse direction and due to the negative potential at at point a thyristor t2 will be forward bias so the current through the load through the thyristor t2 will flow like this in this case also what we have seen the current through the load flows in the opposite direction as discussed in the first cycle so the current through this cycle will be negative so we have seen that during the two full cycle in the first full cycle the current through the load flow in one direction and during the next full cycle the current flow 
in the opposite direction that is in the negative direction so we have converted two number of cycles into a single cycle so we have converted we have just stepped down we have just reduces the input frequency thank you